If you want to create a calendar in Power Query, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you the easiest way to create a calendar, show you the most useful columns, and I'll show you a hack which will save you a lot of time when you're creating columns. So the calendar table, everybody needs it for their Power BI solutions. Let's jump right in and see how you can make it in the easiest way possible. So when we're looking at the screen, we just have a variable for the start and end date, and we're going to use that to make our calendar. Step number one, you're going to create a blank query by right clicking, new query, blank query. In the formula bar, you write the formula list.dates, open your bracket, and you start with the start date, which is the parameter. Now we need to count the amount of numbers, the amount of days we want in our calendar. To do that, we have a formula called duration.days, and you will subtract the end date, uh, and you will subtract the start date from the end date, just like that. And because that will make our calendar not long enough, we will add plus one. Now, each of the steps that we take in our calendar, how big does that need to be? We can use the duration formula to say that we just want it to be a single day in each step. You can do that with a hashtag, duration in small letters, one, zero, zero, zero. And after clicking, just like magic, your list is there. Let's see. With this list, you can go to table, transform it. With the pop-up, you just leave the regular settings and click on OK. And as you can see, we start on the 1st of January 2021. If you reverse this, you can see our ending date is the end of 2022. That's what we wanted. Okay, so by far, that's the easiest way to create your calendar table. Let's rename it to date. Step number two is creating the right column type for your date. So you can go to your column, right click, click on change date and change it to date. And there you go. We finished our date series. Step two in our calendar creation is to get our most relevant columns. The most common columns you can create easily by selecting the column, go to the add column tab, then in the add column tab you go to date, and here you can find your most co common columns. Let's have a quick look. So the first thing I want to look at is the year. If you select the date column, you can easily click on year. So you go to add column, date, year, and add year. And this will create the year column out of nothing. Let's continue this as well for the months. So you select again your date. You click on add column, date. And there's all kinds of months that you can add here. So you can add the month number. You can have the start of the month, days in the month, and name of the month. Let me quickly show that for you. There we go. Here's all the month columns we find relevant. What else do we have? We can go to date. We can add a week and we can add a week of year. This will add the week year, the week number of your year. Easy as that. Lastly, we go to date and you can choose from your day options. And interesting for a day is the day number that you have in a week, the day name perhaps. And to add that, let me show you how you do that. And there we go. So these are the most common columns you're going to need. And you can use the user interface to easily help you in this case. Okay, now let's move on to some more custom columns that you might find interesting. So remember that you can use this, but for the example, I'm gonna just start a new query and start with just a few columns. So for our custom columns, some of the most common columns are things like having a short month, or perhaps you wanna show like a year and month number. So let's have a look at what we can do to achieve that. In its most basic form, if we have a date, you can go to date, month, and add, for example, the name of the month. Now, what would you do if you want to have the short version, the short uh, written way of what the month is like? Now, a first way would be you could write like, I want to create a column and I take the first three characters that I find there. So you could go to custom column and you could write this text start. You would reference the month name and you would write three. And the name would be month name short. And this looks all right. So basically we have our first three letters of January, February, March, etc. And for the English language, I think in most cases this will be fine. But let's have a look at how we can achieve this in a more flexible way, because not in all languages this works. 
So we want to retrieve the same column. And instead, what you can do is we can go to custom column. And there is a function called date to text. You reference your date. And as a second argument, you can now show the formatting in which you want to have your date column. So you open your parentheses and you could, for example, write three capital M's, close your bracket and have a month name short V2. There we go. So, so far, so good. And you would probably think there is no difference here now. But for example, in the Dutch language, we have a, a month called Maart and the short version is MRT. So to be able to address these kind of challenges, there is an optional parameter after this. And you could, for example, say, I want to show the Dutch version, which is NL, NL. And now if I write, OK, I just need to do it behind my good bracket here. Close the parenthesis. And now you will find the Dutch way of doing this. So there's Jan, Feb, and March is MRT. So this allows you to fix your formula without too much trouble and be flexible for any of the local challenges you might have. So it's good to know date to text allows for this. Let's continue. Another common thing to, uh, to create, what if we would delete these columns right here? Another column would, could be we create a year and we could, for example, create the month number. Now, if you would want to create something like year dash zero one, then you would have to juggle a little bit in Power BI to create that. Not with the date to text formula that we just looked at. You can go again to date. Uh, you can create a column with add custom column, date dot to text. Select your date. And now, instead of writing everything by hand, uh, or, or adding separate columns uh, together, we can write yyy dash mm. This mm indicates that it will always have two digits. So even if the month is number one, it will show zero one. We will close your, close your bracket and we will call this a year month column. Press OK. And as you can see, the column that we just created makes it easy to get this. If we wouldn't have done this, the formula would have been something like this. We would have to go for text.from. We would have to transform the year to text. We would then have to also create a dash. And then we'd have to go text.petstart. And the text.petstart would help you to get these leading zeros. And we would have to get that from a text value. So you'd always need to go text from and also take that month column. And now for the bad start, we'd have to do this. Close our brackets and see year, month, V2. And now I did something wrong here. So we can have uh, a zero and we need two of these characters. Or maybe it's the other way around. Exactly, just like that. So if you look at the formula bar, what I created, this very complex piece of code, instead of writing that, you could have done it with the code that I just showed you. So please make use of that date to text and use the formatting uh, argument to actually get it in the form that you like. In a similar fashion, you can also use this to get something like this. We can have a custom column and we will add this column that says date to text. Again, you will reference your date. And as a formatting, you could then write something like, I want to see a short month and I want to see the year number after. And you would have month year. And we close our brackets. And with that, you have the short month and the year together as text. So those are super important to know for your custom uh, calendar and it will save you a lot of time. Some columns that are very common and that you haven't seen yet are the ones that, that look at if something is a weekend or a working day. Now, if you remove a lot of columns here, we can delete it until the end and we will go again. So to look what the working day number is, you can go to date, week, and then you wanna, uh, you wanna, you go to day and you go to day of week. Now you see the number of each of the weeks. 
Now I can show you something as well by adding the name of the day. And with this, we have enough information to see what days are in the weekend. So our weekends are the working day five and six. Okay, with this knowledge, you might want to find a formula to see if something is a weekend. So we could use this and say if the date day of week, if that function is bigger or equal to five, then we have a weekend and else we have a weekday. And this creates a column that will show for you, is it a weekend or a weekday? Or instead, you could also write, if it's a weekend, give it a one, and if it's a weekday, give it a zero. And then you can call the column is weekend. There we go. Great. So those are some fun alternatives for your calendar. In the end, after you build up your calendar, you don't always want to build it from scratch. So once your calendar is in the form that you like to have it, you can go home, click on advanced editor, and you can copy paste this code. I would recommend to save this code somewhere. So for any future projects, you can actually copy paste that. And with that, you will save yourself a lot of time in creating this. All right, so I hope that brought you value. If it did, please like my video and subscribe if you want to see more like this. Which ways were your favorite and are you missing certain columns that you would like to see or need some help on? Drop it below in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out with that. Make sure also to look out for my other videos. There is one released now that shows four different ways on how to create a series of dates. And I'm sure there's a few that you don't know about yet. So check it out and I'll see you in the next video.